How you going folks? This is uh, Nigel, this is his boat. Hey guys. And uh, we're at Kaiteri Teri. Gonna head around here. Robert, uh, patron, he's uh, over in the toilet, giving himself some relief for the morning, having his morning constitutional, but check out this beast. It's a cracker. Green bullet. The green bullet. And there's the beast that tows it. So I took the boys pig hunting yesterday, and uh, they've got the, uh, the disease now, they've got pig shit on the brain, they're talking about <laughs> getting dogs and getting into pig hunting, so uh, we might uh, let them take Bigsy out tomorrow for a hunt. Oh, don't, don't say that too loud, from now. Your Why is that, bud? won't like the dogs. Oh, the missus won't like the dogs. Well, I didn't say I was giving it to you. <laughs> what we're going to do today is we're going to head out there and try and find a little bit of structure. Place was fishing last week. I know, and we'll go out there and see if we can hook into some predatory fish. Maybe might even catch John Dory. Hopefully some blue cod for a feed for the boys to take back with them. You don't have blue cod in Christchurch, do you? Nah, it's kind of hard to find them. Yeah, so hopefully we can get some blue cod today. We'll see how we get on out there. See you in the water. Chances are that you have had trouble in your life. Chances are that you have had trouble in your mind. In your mind. Jump in. choices you made has left the scar on you all these things will come to pass every day is new is new we got quite a big swell rolling today some of the big ones are close to two meters close to around a meter and a half and uh, we're going to try to camp up beside some structure up here a bit further. We're fishing right beside the marine reserve, as close as we can get without uh, breaking the law. and chicken's feeling a bit crook. There's uh, something on its way up. We might have a bit extra burly this morning, boys and girls. What'd you have for breakfast this morning? You don't want to think about it, no? You don't want to think about food? No. Would you like a nice big greasy cup of fat right now, mate? <laughs> That'd be nasty. I've got a nice cold pork chop there you can chew on. Oh, oh he's pork. yawning, he's yawning. Fuck, it's coming. Oh, you'll see his pork belly from last night. He's yawning. He's got the stretch. The yawn. Just keep looking at the horizon, bud. Big deep breath, look at the horizon. I'm using a Falcor right now, a slow jig. Just on the bottom there now. Pellets? Yep, some pellets. Sweet. Nice. What do you reckon, blue cod? It's coming up like a blue cod. Yeah, we blue cod. Hey, that just might be legal. Just a bit. Yeah, nice gun. Oh, a little bit small, eh? It's probably, um, yeah, it's probably below, below 30, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. He's sturdy. You've got to go back, bro. Too small. Yeah, too small. Get bigger for another day, fight. It's good. I'm loving it. The slow jig hasn't done it this morning, boys and girls, so I'm putting a bit of bait on. Just see it's going off there. Shit. Yep, she's on. Just said it wasn't working and we're on. Oh, yep. Beauty. Beauty. That's what I wanted. What is that? It's a bloody good blue cod, I reckon. It's a bloody good blue cod. It's a cracker. Look at that, boys. That's a beauty. How about that? 
That's a cracker, mate. That's a junkie jig. I just said I was not doing it. Fuck, I need to get over the side of the boat then. <laughs> That's a cracker. I'll measure that sucker up. That's a good one, bud. That's a keeper. He's a 40. He's a 40. He's on 40. That's a cracker. Nice clock for the boys to take home. I was just saying that uh, I'm not getting anything on the slow jig and then that big one hit me and that's what happens. Robert here was getting hit time and time again from smaller fish, but uh, nothing that was legal. And this is the thing about these jigs, they represent a small fish, so the predatory fish that predate on smaller fish will go for them, but that's the bigger ones, like the bigger blue cod or the bigger John Dory or snapper or whatever it is that's down there. And that's why they're good to have in the water. And we're in a rolly place right now, and you can see old mate here is trying to keep his breakfast down, and that's how much we're rolling around. And it's, uh, it is a roll. We've got a, probably a one and a half metre swell coming in. So what it's doing is the jig is going up and down all the time without me even doing anything, which in the water represents a fish. So we're going to smack it back out of the side and keep fishing with that. And hopefully um, we hook into another one. Our limit's uh, two blue cod each out here today. So hopefully we all get our two. You got bait on your line there, bud? No, no, I don't care. <laughs> Put that way, isn't it? Yeah. He's just happy to keep. I'm telling him to watch the horizon and keep breathing. So if you do get seasick, that's the trick: is find the horizon, deep breath through your nose. What the, make sure you breathe through your nose, not your mouth. What that does is it puts all the nitric oxide down into your your vasal pathways and gets the blood going again, and you you set your uh, your balance again by looking at the horizon. You're basically um, recalibrating your brain because. He was bending down, doing stuff in the boat, and that's when you often get seasick. You're concentrating, you're rolling around, your ears are trying to balance, you're trying to put a sinker on a bit of line, and that can make it a lot worse. And that's actually how Nigel here got crook today. Uh, we're hoping to catch our limit and go for a hunt this afternoon, but um, the way we're going, I don't know, we'll see how we get on. We'll keep you posted. You still on, Robert? Yeah, mate, you're on, all right. Looks like a little blue cod. Oh. Oh. What you got, little blue cod? Oh yeah, he's around. Yeah, he's going to be under 33, but not a keeper that one. Oh, little, uh, little spotty. Do you many patrons coming up and fishing with you? Um, I get more guys wanting to hunt than fish. Yeah. Had a few, but the last year I haven't been doing it. I've just been. You guys are the first ones I've said yes because I haven't been well enough. I only just got my health back the last like two months. We'll see a bit of uh, spotty goes for bait. New Zealand's most common fish, spotty. Kids catch them off the wharf all around the country. And actually, truth be known, there's nothing wrong with eating them. You get a big one. They've got big spines that'll get you every time. They've got sharp teeth. Let's see if we can get this fish in without puking, Captain. <laughs> it's coming up pretty fast. You're right, mate. Oh yeah. Got a nice good reel here. Coming up. Bit of a bead, hey, it's a good fish, bud. That might be a good one. You want to set that a little bit tighter, eh? Oh, Didn't go down the bottom, did it? Did it go around a rock? I think so. Wrap, did it wrap around a rock? Did you... Man, it's... it's coming. Oh, you went, got, went around a rock, didn't it? I think, so. I think it did. Yeah, keep your eyes up. I'd go, I'd go loose on that. I'd let, I'd let it go loose, and it, and it might swim off it. Because it's gone around a rock, eh? It's gone under yeah, it's gone under a rock, but yeah, let loosen, loosen it off, and it might, it might come off. Like, let it go down. Your box. It's gone. It's wrapped around a rock. Oh, little baby cod. I'm caught around someone else's line too. I took it off the captain because he is going to puke himself, and it might be just about legal too, bud. It might just be, we'll just check it first. It's on the edge, we lost your sinker. So it wrapped around your sinker on the bottom. Let's have a look at this guy here. He might just, just be legal, we'll see how we get on. Nah, just on the edge, 32. Bugger. Oh, bro. Give me a brother. Four, it's a keeper, 34 is a keeper. Great job. Awesome, buddy. That's two cod. On again. That's actually not a baddie either. Hey, nice. Yeah. That's us. That's you, buddy. Woo. Yeah. 
That's your, that's your two. So the captain caught that fish on my favourite bait, the tail of the fish, and I said to him, if you use a tail, it kind of represents a fish, and you'll get a bigger fish, and that's exactly what happened. He smacked a good one. That was a good one. Probably about a 36. Good cod. Got to hand it to this rooster here. He's been out the whole time. It's been a bit of a swell, and uh, he kept these breakfast down, kept on fishing. He ended up catching the two other blue cod that were legal, and uh, he's now keen to go for a pig hunt. So we're going to try and get back in in time and uh, let his belly settle. We'll go and pick up the dogs and head in a scrub. That'll be a video for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Good luck with your own fishing. Be good, can't be good, be careful. I'll catch you soon. See you later. Chances are that you have had trouble in your life. Chances are that you have had trouble in your mind. In your mind.